Hi guys, so it's time today for my monthly favourites. These are my favourites from the month of November. A couple of days later than I usually would upload them, but I have a lot of things to show you, so hopefully it will have been worth the wait. So firstly, I have two films to talk to you about. I saw two films this month and absolutely adored both of them. The first one I saw, I think, literally on the 1st of November, and that is The Martian, starring Matt Damon. Now, I think everybody has talked about this film, and if you haven't seen it, then I feel like you're going out of your way not to see it because it's it's been everywhere. Um, I, I would retract that and go and see it. I think it's out of the cinema now, but like I would watch it when it comes, comes out. DVD television release. Now, this film was amazing, and I don't like space films. Space films are not my thing, um, but I adored this film. It's based on the book. I'm trying to decide whether to read the book now because I enjoyed the film so much, but then I don't know if I'd enjoy the book as much now, knowing the entire plot and having seen the film. So I have to think about that one. It's basically about Matt Damon's character who gets stuck on planet Mars by himself when um, a storm hits and the rest of his um, expedition team leave without him thinking he's dead, but he survives. Unfortunately, it's going to take, I think, four years before he can be rescued, so he needs to find a way to survive on Mars in that time. It's really funny and sarcastic and witty, but also very moving and emotional. And the film is very stagnant geographically and doesn't move very far, and half of it's basically just this one man. It is amazing. Like, I don't know, I was not expecting to love it as much as I did, but I really, really did. The other film I really enjoyed this month was Brooklyn, and this is another film that was based on a book. This is another film that I just happened to go and see with a friend. I had, didn't have any plans to see this film. I'm so glad I did because it was so wonderful. It is a love story, it's a romance and also a love story about home and where you belong and that kind of thing. It follows a young girl called Ailish who moves from Ireland over to the United States of America and lives in Brooklyn, New York. And obviously she is incredibly homesick but she gradually learns to love New York and meets a young Italian American gentleman who is so cute. Like. Oh, he's just adorable. They are such a cute couple. Um, obviously, more happens than just her meeting this guy and falling in love. And um, I just really enjoyed it. It again had some really funny moments in the boarding house that um, Ailish stayed in. There were some really funny scenes at the dining table. Again, actually, romance films aren't usually my thing either. But I really enjoyed this one and I would highly recommend watching it. Next is my favourite television show of this month and that is Drifters. Now this is a Channel 4 television show, it's a British sitcom comedy which follows three friends in their 20s who basically are just kind of figuring out what to do with their life and having just ridiculous escapades on a daily basis and it's so so funny. And um, The third season started recently and I've been watching the third season as it comes out every week. The first two seasons I believe are on Netflix, I watched them a long time ago, I'm pretty sure they're still on Netflix, so UK Netflix at least, so I would highly recommend going and watching them if you haven't watched Drifters. It is just so funny and like silly but there's lots of identifiable moments in there and yeah, it's, it's just good fun and it, it makes me laugh out loud and there are not a lot of TV shows on at the moment that make me physically like bend over in laughter. It's like real physical laughter and I really, really enjoy it. It really lifts me up every week when I watch it. And my favourite book of the month is not so much a book but one poem specifically in a book. And it, I read this month Benjamin Zephaniah's The Little Book of Vegan Poems with explicit vegan lyrics. And there's a warning on the back that says, um, me teachers may be offended by these poems. This is not an apology, simply a warning. Anyway, I really enjoyed reading this, but there was one poem in particular that I just loved. Um, so I'm, I'm just going to read it to you because this is my favourite. And it's called Pride, and it's quite short, and it just goes, I've got no bodies inside me, all of me is me. I will not eat nobody else, so I am what you see. I do not plan to eat young sheep, I will not eat a hen. I am so proud of what I am, I must say. Once again, I've got no bodies inside me, all of me is me. I will not eat nobody else, so I am what you see. And I just, I don't know, I just really like that poem. Now, as YouTube and internet stuff goes, um, I've been enjoying two YouTube channels in particular this month. One is Owen Jones, who's actually a um, British journalist who also has a YouTube channel and he makes like quite like high quality videos about politics and current affairs and just 
more serious topics and but he does it in a really engaging way and I'd highly recommend going and checking out that channel um, especially if you don't watch too much news or um, engage in too much politics because you kind of hate the television news um, I mean his channel is very much his opinions it's not unbiased he is um, a socialist and a Labour Party member and he does Sure, his opinions and his videos are influenced by his opinions, but I still think it's worth going and checking out um, for a variety of different reasons. Um, so I would recommend his channel. And also my lovely friend Lisa has recently started making YouTube videos again. Um, she used to make YouTube videos in the past um, and she's been living in Australia and just hasn't been uploading as much, but she has been back at it this month and her videos have just been on point. I've been really enjoying her videos. They're really thoughtful and she's just really nice to watch and I would just highly recommend going and checking out her videos because I've been really enjoying her new uploads. The next thing I want to share with you is an online shop and some really cute products. But basically I was contacted by Nook and Burrow um, and they asked if they could just send me some things just as a little gift because they enjoyed my channel which was super sweet and they're not paying me to put these in this video or anything like this but I love them so much that I have to Favourite them! They're a favourite! So I really want to show them to you guys and this is the... Basically they're a combination of two companies, one that makes candles and the other that makes wooden bookmarks. So they sent me a candle which is their Nocturne Alley candle. Yes, Nocturne Alley candle. This is the Nocturne Alley candle one. I think it's sandalwood. It smells really rich and wintry. It's really nice um, and I have to show you a close up of this. That is what this candle looks like. It is sparkly and then it's two colours, the purple, well like a light purple and dark purple but look at that! And these are all made with soya wax, um, yeah and they smell delicious. And then they also sent me these really really nice wooden bookmarks, also Harry Potter themed because I love me had some Harry Potter um, and they both look like this. So the first one says Expecto Patronum, um, it looks like that and that's um, Lily's Instagram down there at Lily Tales, and um, that's who contacted me. Um, she makes these gorgeous bookmarks. Look at that! How gorgeous is that? And it's really sturdy and beautifully, beautifully done. And then the next one is perfect for this time of year. Akio pudding. Yes, pudding, come to me. Now these are so 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 cute. I mean, I'm going to enjoy these things to myself, but I must say these would make absolutely gorgeous Christmas presents. So I know they ship internationally, they are an Australian based company, although obviously I'm not sure how much international postage costs. Um, but I would definitely check out their website if you're still looking for some Christmas presents, because these are so cute. <laughs> okay, and my next favourites are all kind of cosmetic, beauty related. The first things are actually a shampoo and conditioner. And it's these, sorry they're a bit wet, I just took them out of my shower. These are from OGX and they are their Ever Straight Brazilian Keratin Smooth range. I bought these because I wanted something with a lot of protein in it. Keratin is like really great for your hair, especially if it's low on the protein and because I have like bleached highlights in my hair, I could do with some extra protein. And although it says straight, it doesn't straighten your hair, um, so don't worry if you've got curly hair, it just kind of smooths it all out and gets rid of the flyaways and the frizz. And these are slightly more expensive than I'd usually pay for a conditioner um, or shampoo. I think they're about £6, £6.50 a bottle. Although they have been lasting me for ages. A little goes a long way with these. But they are also n nowhere near as expensive as things like the Kerastase range from L'Oreal that you can buy in the hairdressers. Which is amazing, but like £15 a bottle. <laughs> so this is an amazing in-between. But basically I adore these. My hair feels gorgeous, they are so nourishing, they don't make my hair feel greasy. Honestly, I just couldn't, cannot recommend this range more highly if you're looking for a good shampoo and conditioner. And next is a nail varnish, which I don't have on, I should have planned better and put on my nails, but it is this nail varnish from Essie, and this is in the colour Spin the Bottle. It's a nude, which is a good thing, that's the thing, it's not like a pink or a peach, it's a nude nail varnish, and I've been wanting a nude nail varnish for ages, this is the perfect colour. I find that SA isn't a brand I tried much before but they seem to be really long lasting so I've been really enjoying this and it only takes about two coats to get a really opaque colour. And then Soap and Glory have just been winning all around this month so I picked up the Soap and Glory uh, liquid liner. A friend recommended this to me, I think it might have been Sana and I'm so glad I picked this up, it's called their Super Cat Liquid Black Eyeliner Pen um, and it is a pen. I 
really like eyeliner pens. They're my favourite kind of liquid liner brush and I've got it on just now. Basically though, this stuff lasts like crazy. I have never had a liquid liner that lasts as long as this one before and I've tried a lot of liquid liners. It's also only about £5 from the drugstore. And secondly is something that is only just making it into my favourites because I only bought it yesterday but I used it today and I absolutely love it so thought whilst I was on the topic of Soap and Glory I would mention it but the eyeshadow palette I did this with and it is the Perfect 10 from Soap and Glory this was £16 in Boots 3 for 2 Christmas gift selection and that's what it looks like. It's a really nice selection of quite neutral everyday colours and lots of pinky tones and I just find pinky tones really flattering. There are two matte shades and the rest are like shimmery but no like heavy chunky glitters. That's everything I had to show you in this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, I will be uploading my November reading wrap up tomorrow, the third day of Vlogmas, so look forward to that and until next time guys, happy reading. I'll see you all again very soon. Bye!